Welcome to Miami Flying Club, Ground Training Series. Today, Basic Aerodynamics Part 2. Stability, is the inherent ability of an airplane to return, or not return, to its original flight conditions after being disturbed by an outside force, such as rough air. Positive static stability, is the initial tendency of an aircraft to return or not return to its original position. Aircraft design normally ensures, that the aircraft will be stable in pitch. The location of the CG with respect to the center of lift will determine the longitudinal stability of an airplane. Positive dynamic stability, is the tendency of an oscillating airplane to return to its original position relative to time. Neutral dynamic stability, causes an aircraft hunt back and forth around a condition of straight and level flight, with the correction getting neither large or smaller. Negative dynamic stability, causes of forces of static stability to increase with time. Forward center of gravity. An airplane with center of gravity forward off the center of lift will pitch down when power is reduced. This will the increase the airspeed and the downward force on the elevators. This increased downward force on elevator will bring the nose up providing positive stability. The farther forward the center of gravity is, the more stable the airplane. This means that a stable airplane is easy to fly and require less effort to control. Changes in the center of pressure of the wing, affect the aircraft's aerodynamic balance and controllability. The center of gravity, located aft of the aft of the center of gravity limit, will result in an undesirable pitch-up moment during flight, and can reduce the airplane's ability to recovery from the stalls and spins. The airplane is less stable at all speed. Tail heavy loading also produces very light stick forces, making it easy for the pilot to inadvertently overstress the airplane. Turns, loads, and load factors. When an airplane is banked into a turn, a portion of vertical lift being developed is diverted into a horizontal lift component. It is horizontal force that forces the airplane from straight and level flight and causes it to turn. In aerodynamics, load is the force that must be supported by the airplane structure in flight. In straight and level flight, the wings of an airplane support a load, equal to the sum of the weight of the airplane plus its contents. Load factors, is the ratio of the amount of load imposed on an aircraft structure, to the weight of the structure itself. Load factors imposed on an aircraft in flight are expressed in G units. 1G load factor is 1, in which the load on the structure is equal to the weight of the structure. Maneuvers. Rectangular course. Turns around a point. S turns. The four flight fundamentals involved in maneuvering an aircraft are, straight and level flight, turns, climb, and descents. All ground reference maneuvers assist the pilot in practicing the following, maintaining a specific relationship between the airplane and the ground. Dividing attention between the flight path, ground-based references, manipulating the flight controls, and scanning for outside hazards and instrument indications. Adjusting the bank angle during turn to correct for ground speed changes. Establishing and correcting the wind correction angle to compensate for any drift caused by the wind. I hope I gave you some value information today that helps you. I would love to have you join the club, so thank you for watching today. Have a great day. Fly safe and fly smart.